Um, in the first half, I mean, they, they, they threw the first punch and, you know, we didn't really respond well, but that could be, uh, we were young, so, you know, it's going to, it's going to take a pro it's going to process for us and we're gonna, it's a learning, learning process and we're just going to learn from that one and hopefully if somebody else jumps on us, we're going to respond the right way. In the second half, we responded like Santa Barbara, we didn't respond very well in the second half. So, I mean, at least we took a stride in that in that sense, but, you know, we got to put two halves together and hopefully we can do it next on Sunday. What about for you? What was the difference for you personally, but also for the team in the second half? I feel like in the first half they were the aggressor on defense and in, on and on offense, and we played more passively. Um, in the second half we tried to ignite that fire and uh, play a little bit harder, but it was it was a little bit too late. But at, at least, like Kev said, we fought back and we learned a lesson tonight, so that uh, in the in the future we won't we won't make the same mistakes. You were down 25 early in the second half. You pulled within six. Um, what does that tell you about your team's medal? Uh, it tells us that we have a lot of heart. Um, that that we're not going to give up in any kind of situation. That's big because. Anytime, um, like like you said, we got it down to six. If they they turn the ball over, miss a couple more free throws, and we have a chance to win the game. So that's big. I'm sure, you know about Villanova. Um, they've been to the NCAA tournament many times. Are you excited to play them? I know you're disappointed not to be playing in the championship, but you get to play a team the all caliber of Villanova. You're always excited to play a team from the Big East. I mean, I mean, what what is the best conference? I mean, that's what that's what they say. And it's the best conference, so we want to we want to play the best, and hopefully Villanova gets a good, good game, and we can give them a good game. Okay, I want you to talk to me a little bit about Kevin's accomplishment tonight. What do you think it means to him and for him to be I able think, to break Steve Nash's record? I think it should mean a lot to him because uh, it, it just means that all the, the hard work that he's put in, the, the extra shots he gets in after practice, uh, how hard he works in the games to get open uh, when he's you know getting double teamed, getting chased off screens, and uh, his uh, persistence to, to, make down, to knock down those shots uh, is, is really big to break somebody's record like Steve Nash. And for Evan to have seven threes tonight, which is a career high, and then ten assists, which is a career high. Talk about his play tonight and how he's kind of evolved as a sophomore. Evan's really matured in his game. He's got a lot stronger, so his shot is a lot stronger. So It's gotten a lot quicker, which helps him get into the basket faster. So, I mean, he's, he's really been working on his stroke. And, I mean, he's a point guard, and he has great vision on the court. So, I mean, 10 assists is not really a big shock to me, but that's his career high, and he's going to probably extend that soon. And I'm happy for him. And then finally for you, um, to break Steve Nash's record this early in your junior year, um, you know what kind of player he was in the, in the NBA, you know what kind of player he was in college. What does that mean for you? Uh, I mean, or can you do you really even know what it means to you right now? I don't really know what it means, but I mean, great player, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm honored to break somebody of that caliber's record, and uh, hopefully, you can come out to that game. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs>